Um, Ate Ligaya? Yes, Iha? Earlier, I heard you talking with Ate Coco, and, um, you said that you can't go back home because Dad makes you work all the time. And, um, it made me think, am, am I the reason why you don't get to see your family anymore? Because you had to take care of me all the time? Am I the reason why you're always sad, Ate Ligaya? No, Iha, of course you're not. What made you think like that, Eri? You're the complete opposite. You always make Ate Ligaya happy. I would never get tired of taking care of you, Eri. You remind me of my children. I don't get to see them anymore, and that's why I'm happy taking care of you. Don't be sad anymore, Eri. I know very well that when you grow up, you'll be a very kind girl. I just know it. <laughs> Go to sleep now. Rest well, Iha. Oh, okay. Good night, Ate Ligaya. There you are, maid. What did I tell you before about being late? Did you not listen to me? More importantly, did you sell it? Um, yes, sir. I, I did. I have the money. Good. Couldn't expect any more from a province woman like you. Anyway, I need you to make another delivery. Same location. In Dilimon. And I expect you not to be late tomorrow. Do you understand that, Ligaya? N no What the hell did you just say? No, I can't keep doing this. It's near school grounds. I, I could get caught. <laughs> Don't be selfish, Ligaya. Think about your damn children. Think about what could happen to them if you're gone. They could starve or die. Who knows? And, of course, dear little Aerie. Pretty ironic, don't you think? A woman, more so a mother, flying all the way here to the city, abandoning her own children, just to take care of someone else's child. I remember when you first came here begging for a job. Absolutely pathetic. What kind of mother can't even provide for her own children? I believe you said you arrived to the city, leaving your children when they were still half a year old, correct? You know what would be sad, Ligaya? If something were to happen to you before you even got to meet your children. So God forbid it, we don't want any accidents, don't we now, Ligaya? Now, if I were you, I'd watch my damn mouth. More so, shut it! So do your goddamn job, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> Two weeks later, Chat, 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 chat. And then he said I looked like a child! So I told Kachan that he looked like he was burying a child! Then he sucker punched me in the... And Todoroki's eating without us again. So shameless, aren't you now? Don't you know it's more fun to eat dinner with the whole family? God, you always do this whenever we have a sleepover! Hate to argue, good friend, but I guess you fail to acknowledge the inviolability of the importance of instant noodles. So as they say, long noodles, long life. You really believe you'll get eternal life from eating noodles? No, but I do believe in Midoriya's eternal utang, unpaid debt. Scaring a person to forget about your borrowed money. I'm so sorry. What was that you said? Um, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Char, love you, Midoriya. <laughs> hey, friends, I brought iced tea. Oh, no. I got it. Awesome. Great catch, Chalknut. Your ability and reaction time is really... Thanks, Deku. All in a day's work. I think we might have left it freezing for too long again. The ice is stuck. God, I hate when this happens. It's so annoying. Wow, Todoroki. It must be so hard on your sensitive rich boy hands, isn't it? Just use your powers to heat the underside of the tray or whatever. Oh, right. Oh. Hmm? You guys suddenly got used to these weird superpowers we contracted? How did you guys figure it out? I started touching random objects in my room one day. And apparently it works if I put all five fingers on something. I guess using the gloves back then was a great idea. I'm trying to get used to putting my pinky up all the time, though. Mine's weird. I guess my right hand is cold and my left hand is hot. I sort of make it work. I don't know. I just tell my brain to do it. Kind of like moving. Thanks to these superpowers, I gained a lot of leg muscle strength. 
It kind of works like how Todoroki explained it. Like normal running, but more enhanced than the average person. Why do you ask though, Midoriya? Are you implying something? Um, recently, I've been seeing some rather sketchy activity outside school. Just near outside, I saw this exchange. Like some students going to dark alleyways with adults and, well, I think you already know what I mean. I know we're all aware about the recent drug crisis. Just figured maybe we could do something about it. What are you saying, Deku? That you saw... Are you saying that they're doing that near our school? Yes. Well, they are. Listen, I'm not asking for much. Maybe perhaps we could just scare them off school grounds. We can't turn them in. You know very well that's gonna be the end for them. This is for the betterment of the school. I'm in. If it's for the safety of the students, then I'm in as well. We can't let this go on on school grounds. Hmm, I guess I'm in too. I'm gonna be there to prevent you from screwing crap up. After all, I always have your back. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Nandi, it's flirtatious. <laughs> ah, goodbye, y'all. Come here. <laughs> in a secluded area in the city. To think that people nearly our own age would risk this much for this type of exchange. At that night, the province woman had tried to escape the monster's belly. <gasps> Sir, stop! These children, or are they the vigilantes who's after me? I have to get away. Oftentimes, people would resort to this extent because of poverty. It's a common problem here. We can't really blame the people for not working hard enough. It's just that finding a good paying job is hard to come by. That's why a lot of people resort to working in other countries to seek for better opportunities. People with power always promise that they're going to fix poverty. But no, that promise had never been fulfilled. There are still people starving in the streets. The government is ruthless. They don't take this problem lightly. If we turn them in, it's the end for them. You can almost feel pity. It's almost ironic that once you're seated at the top, you refuse to stand for others. Burn. <sighs> What are you? Don't turn me in! You're- you're all vigilantes! You want to kill me! God! God, please! Have mercy! I have a family! Sir, we only wish that you stay away from our school. Please, we don't intend on turning you in. But we hope this is enough to last you and your family a week. God bless you. Oftentimes, people may argue that Uraraka and I became friends because our personalities are pretty similar. There's nothing special about her, people would say, but I would have to disagree, because this girl, she really delved deep into what it meant to unconditionally love a person. In a way, she was similar to these people who we chased down the street, not that she would go to the extent of committing a heinous crime. Like Gaia? Although, like them, she's willing to climb mountains for those she considers family. That was unconditional love for her. Oftentimes, we see youth undervalue their family. Uraraka wasn't like that. She was far from it, and, in a way, I believe she had a little more heroism in her than I could ever have. Uraraka? Where is she going? Todoroki and Uraraka are polar opposites. Despite that, they still got along. Back then, Todoroki didn't want to make friends. But thanks to her, I think a bit of herself had rubbed off on him. Uraraka taught Todoroki a lot of things, like how to dance, how it's okay to want friends, how it's normal to be conflicted about your future. Todoroki never understood Urodaka. He never understood how he could possibly unconditionally love his own family as much as her. But I believe there was one thing Todoroki learned through making friends. It was that you only love when you're ready to, not just because you want to. And in a way, through her, he found solace and a family. And that was how Todoroki finally understood how to unconditionally love. There's nowhere to run, Ligaya. I told you that before. You really think that you're smart enough to escape me? Now look. Look what you've done to yourself. This is all because you never listen. That man has a gun! Do you see me as stupid? Turn around! Face me, you slave! Fine! I give up! Just fire! I may have not been able to save my children from poverty, but I just pray to the heavens that my death is enough to put you behind bars and set your daughter free. If that's the case, then you would have died for nothing. <laughs> oh, Jocko! No! Get away from here! You damn <sighs> son of a... Ah! Screw the hell up! I'm going to kill you! Ah! Uh, like, what the... <laughs> Stop. 
Leave them alone! They ran off without telling us? Where could they? Victoria, it's, it's them. Help! How could you do that, Eha? That was very careless. You, you need to be at the hospital. I can't let you go home like this. Ma'am, welcome. You don't need to worry about. I can check this up at my neighborhood's local clinic. I'm sure I can perfectly walk on my own. Damn it. I, I should have brought my car! So stupid! Uraraka, are you sure you can walk home by yourself? We can call an ambulance! That would be easier! No, I can do it myself. Luckily, it's just a scratch. Thank God, it will heal. But it's best if I get home as quickly as possible. I can't have you guys tagging along unless you want to start a feud with my parents. Hey! What happened, huh? What happened to sticking to what we agreed to? This wasn't supposed to happen! I didn't say that you two should run off and try to get killed! We should be doing what we should have done before! Go to the police! That man needs to pay! Or go to the hospital! Uraraka doesn't want to go to the hospital! God's sake, shut up, Midoriya! This never would have happened if it weren't for you! You always make us do what you want! You never even once thought about what others wanted! God, you're just like my dad! Excuse me? As far as I'm concerned, Todoroki, I didn't force you to do anything! You agreed to this! What we didn't agree on was going against the goddamn plan, which you did! None of you are looking at the bigger picture. You know what? I'll take it upon myself to take Ligaya in, since you two are too busy putting this argument first instead of doing something. Oh, wow, Ida. How low! Just admit that you're fighting over some goddamn thing to do because you know very well that you did nothing. You would have been more useful earlier. But you're only doing this now? And so what if I wasn't able to do anything at that moment? What's so wrong with trying to help now? There's nothing wrong with that. You're being illogical. Do you even know how difficult it is for me? For me to keep voicing out my opinions only to feel like I'm talking to thin air? That's why I always stay silent. None of you ever want to listen to me. And I'm sorry, Todoroki. I don't understand you. Because I'm not as immature to think that I shouldn't work just because of my petty family problems. Why didn't you tell me? Ida, I'm... I'm sorry. Yada yada! All just bullcrap. You're making this about yourself. You think that's gonna help? I actually tried to look for her. And what did you two do? Nothing. Especially you, Midoriya. You didn't help. You only dragged us into this. You're always joining protests, right? You're always on the front lines of the rallies, aren't you? You speak so highly about defending the masses, yet you can't even defend her! You know what you are, Midoriya? You're useless. What did you just call me? You're really going that low as to call me that again. You son of a- That's enough! Stop already! You two aren't listening to me again! You weren't the only one who's shocked, okay? We were all shocked. But what's important is that we stop beating each other down and focus on the problem at hand. We can't let this get to us. It's pointless if we keep blaming each other for what happened. Fine. Then I guess we're done here. Come on, ma'am. We have a spare room back at home. It would be safer for you. 